Hello guys, it's Gav and I've got a, another small review for you today. Um, I received in the post uh, the other day these uh, resin bases for my Infinity Miniatures. Um, I've, I've not made a great job of the original bases, you know, doing my own bits and pieces on them. And I thought, oh, you know, hang the expense, I'm going to get myself some resin ones. Uh, and saying hang the expense, I've, <laughs> I'm shooting another video, and for the life of me, I cannot remember how much I paid for these. Uh, they weren't cheap, um, but I didn't think they were massively over expensive for what they are, <laughs> which doesn't help you guys one little bit, but it's more just to show you what they are than anything. I got them from a company called Atenocytis, I presume I've pronounced that right, um, in, uh, in the UK. And... Uh, I shall give you a quick uh, quick show and tell. So in this packet you get uh, 12 25mm bases uh, and it says designed for infinity corvus belly. Uh, whether they produce them I have no idea. And there they are in the, the pack. And here is some out of the pack. So forgive the dodgy fingernails again. I always do these vids literally. I'm just thinking oh well I'll just start to uh, getting another bit more paint down and I think no I won't I'll shoot, I'll shoot a quick vid so I do apologize prior planning and preparation and all that it's not exactly a motto at my channel uh, so here we are a um, few little blemishes on the undersides you'd expect from resin uh, they do put a little leaflet in well a little print off piece of paper about cleaning the resin and gluing the resin obviously using soapy water give them a good scrub with an old toothbrush and uh, when you're gluing them, uh, use super glue and uh, fill any gaps if they have got gaps for some reason with uh, gel super glue. Uh, they look to me as if they the one thing that is missing on there is actually wear a mask, you know, some type of filter or dust mask when you're uh, when you're are uh, sanding resin. It's not very good for your health, so um, I am surprised I left that off actually. So it is like uh, as I say, they're lazaretto range whatever that means I just just like the, the, the look of them really uh, they do different ones obviously I think they do some with um, you know little recess lights in that you could do uh, object sort of light source lighting uh, but these were good enough for my for my needs again you know just a, a bit of a, a light sand I would imagine or even a scalpel just around the base there they seem to sit fairly flat already um, I don't I might have an attempt with my airbrush I mean, I'll show you what I mean. This is um, a Tiger Soldier that I've been, I will show properly on another vid. Um, but if you can see, you know, I've tried to make a base up here on this guy. Uh, he, he's standing actually on a, on a bit of uh, metal that comes with the, the base. And I just copied it by drilling a few holes. Uh, they're actually old plastic Renedra bases. I've literally just hacked up with a pair of pincers. I've um, tried to put a few shell casings there. Um, but it, you know, I'm not not a hundred percent happy with it. Um, and I put a, in my haste last year a bloody great chunk out the side there. So that's that one. And here's here's I'm just you know they do fantastic miniatures these guys that's in at Corvus Belly. Uh, just always find the bases pretty uninspiring. As you can see there with this one. Now this one I wish I hadn't stuck down because I would have pinned it to a. I would have pinned it to one of these bases, but uh, I've even thought of trying to cut through it, through it and uh, releasing it that way. But then I've got to cut the metal off, and then try and pin these tiny little shoes, and you just know I'm going to end up with some chips all over it. This one's almost done now. Um, this is the Guija Pilot Lady, but again, I'll go into those on a separate separate vid. I just wanted to show you really, you know, the, what you get from Infinity and what you could do with these. Obviously, it's, you know, I wouldn't uh, recommend just just uh, gluing them directly. Uh, there wouldn't be a lot of contact in places. Uh, you would have to pin them. You know, put a bit of. Uh, just all you need is a uh, is one of these large um, paper clips, which you can get from the office supplies, or if you know somebody at an office, uh, and they, you know, just cut a few uh, pieces in those and drill the foot and drill, obviously, drill into your base and Bob's your uncle. So there are the twenty five mil ones. Is that the way that was only to prop up the bag? This is the 40 mil bases. You get um, four in that in the bag for that, and again they replicate more or less what you've you've seen on the on the 25s. 
Um, I'm not sure, as I say, I paint, <laughs> I just enjoy painting Infinity, uh, but I don't even paint a lot of it, as you've probably noticed on the channel, so um, I'm not sure what size you would stick on that, as in like tags or whatever. And uh, and this is the the big one, at 55mm. Again, there's uh, four in that, and again, you get the little airlock things in that. Um, it's just like the type of metal, you know, things that you'd see in spaceships or that type of environment. And again, you know, you can't complain at any of that really. There's no, I can't see any bubbles or holes in the resin. Uh, you know, you if you didn't want to use a file, uh, sandpaper, I should say, to do that, um, just because of the dust, you could actually, you know, scrape it with a scalpel probably, and it might might do. So that's uh, that's what the postman's brought uh, this week. I've got that um, one of the mercenary mercenary hackers lady that I showed in a previous video. I'm going to try mounting her to one of these smaller bases um, and see how we go from there. It's a shame, really, with that Guija pilot, but I really don't want to. I just know I'm just going to be chipping that model to hell and <laughs> just be. I'll, I'll cry. So, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry again. I, I, I will be. I should get more prepared at doing these. They really are on the cuff video, off the cuff videos, and I should have had the price with you as well, so you could at least know in UK pounds what I paid for them. But um, but yeah, I paid for them. You know, I haven't been giving them or anything. So uh, so there you go. Uh, these are from a tenositis uh, Lazaretto bases uh, for your infinity or any other type of uh, science fictiony type uh, figures you've got for them. So thanks for popping by and taking a look, and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.